Hello everyone, this is my ID7 Pro Hank. I have the car for two years and two weeks. And a few weeks ago, someone wrote me an email. Hey, I have an ID7 as well. Did you also notice that your car is charging slower and it takes longer to charge? And I thought I have to test this. So I just did my uh, degradation test and I drove it down to 7% and I preheated the battery. And now here at Ionity, I charge to 80%. And then at home, we're gonna analyze the whole the whole driving thing because I'm um, filming off the screen behind that little thing so uh, you can see something because I only the screens uh, they are very shiny <laughs> with the Sun you can't see anything that's why I have this thing in front but the degradation test was amazing didn't lose any capacity and it's freezing it's dirty the car oh my god but let's charge to the 80 and then we analyze and important right now the car has 5.6.3 software on it and when I did my first charging test the one that we're gonna compare this one to I had 4.0 on there this video is brought to you by a better root planner the root planner for EVs hundreds of cars are supported choose your configuration plan your route with the charging network that you want to prefer or charging networks that you want to avoid if you're a premium member you can use real-time weather forecast and traffic information and you can also use a better route planner in your car with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay Use the link in the description to support the channel and use a better route planner premium for 30 days for free. If you like this video, it would be nice if you show it also and maybe subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss a new one. So let's see what I found out. And here we have it. I charged at Ionity and started with 7% <clears throat> and it instantly goes down up to 180 kilowatt and also 500 amp which is the limit on this Ionity charger. Voltage around 370 volt and 390 kilowatt that was my peak then it goes down two years ago 192 was my peak but you also see that the 500 amp is now going down at 50% still 147 kilowatt let's see how about 60 percent we have 122 you have a tiny little jump when are we going under 100 kilowatt now at 65 percent goes under 100 kilowatt at 70 percent still have 85 at 75 percent we have 80 and then at 80 percent our end only charge there we get 74 kilowatt by the way, if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery where I'm vlogging. So if I get a car, what's happening with the car, if there are any news and anything happening, really awesome. And here we have our little curve and it's really a nice curve. Maybe not the gigantic peak, but for a 400 volt system, I think it's really good and amazing. You don't have jumps i'm not a fan of jumps where you get stressed okay at 70 percent i have to unplug because the po charging power goes down to 50 kilowatt or so this is really going up to the 190 and then slowly going down only here we have tiny little jumps but it's really really a great curve and it's really a curve not the f f f f f i like that 10 to 80 percent took 26 minutes um, I think two years ago it was 25 and a half and I always thought maybe I can get it to, to 25 minutes but no but let's compare and here we have the comparison and as you can see oh my god it's the same <laughs> so you no know, my ID7 the charging didn't change at all last year I did a charging test after the same test uh, degradation test and there was a thing what, what went down here and I was like huh is this the charger because I've seen it a few times that the, the charging curve went down in the middle so around 40 35 40 percent so lower than what you see here and that's why I thought is there something different is there something with the battery but I guess I was just unlucky because as we see here they're really extremely similar the only thing is the old one is 2023 and the blue one is 2025 it was a few days later um is that here in the here is the the blue one a bit higher and then here the red one is a bit higher maybe this is the in here too is the 30 seconds that it was faster but this is just tiny little differences so no the charging did not change 
And if you want to support the channel, you can do that here on YouTube via channel membership. But you get also something for it. You get early access to new videos. And if there's something really important happening, you are the first to know. So that's the result. The charging did not change in the two years and also with the software update. So two, three weeks ago I got 5.6.3 before I had 4.0. The charging didn't change with the, with the battery and also not with the software. It's still exactly the same, which is good because I think the ID7 for the 400 volt battery system and the size 77 kilowatt hours um, charges really good. The Pro S of course charges a bit better, has an 86 kilowatt hour battery, goes up to 205 kilowatt. The voltage is a bit higher, takes the same time 10 to 80 percent but it's a bigger battery so you get more range into the battery the only thing the pro s because of the weight is a tiny bit higher consumption but still you get more range but i'm very happy i again i got two emails and comments that hey my id7 uh, the charging got worse over the years. Do you see the same? And no, I don't see the same, but I also got this with my ID3 back in the day where people always said, I never get uh, the 100 and then 130 kilowatt, uh, it's, it's a bad charger. But I've also seen a lot of people not doing the right thing, what you need. And this is battery temperature. Now in the ID7, it's easy. You just navigate to a charger or press the button, manual preheating, and you see a bar when the temperature is reached and you can even have the message underneath. So very easy. Back with the ID3, you didn't see the battery temperature and you just have to, have to guess. So I get it. Um, and of course, what state of charge do you plug in? And it is just the case with Volkswagen, you have to plug in under 15%. If you plug in with 20%, you don't get the 190 kilowatt. And what you also have to know is when you see this curve, 190 kilowatt at this and, and 150 kilowatt at this state of charge, if you ch uh, plug in at a higher state of charge, you don't get the same uh, at the same state of charge. For whatever reason, if you plug in at a higher state of charge, you get less. That's just how it is. So 15% arrival, I usually do 10 between 15% that arrive at a charger, gives you the best charging experience. The good thing is, of course, with the ID7 with low consumption you get a lot of range out of it especially in the summer of course I mean I don't have a heat pump so yeah um, but um, you don't have to charge to a high state of charge so, uh, in even in March two years uh, one and a half years ago in March we went to the Netherlands uh, my wife and I and we only had to charge to 55% or so from 15 and that's just done in 10 minutes or 12 and it's really nice you get out plug in P, look around a bit, get into car and can already unplug and go on. That's just the amazing thing with this car because the consumption is so low and then the range is, is high, even though sometimes you drive a bit faster because I'm not a slow driver. I don't drive 130 with the car, I drive 140 at least. And if I'm in a rush, even 160 to 180, the consumption is still okay for that speed, which is amazing. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.